Willkommen zurück, liebe Geschwister. Let's open with a silent prayer. Lasst uns mit einem stillen Gebet anfangen. To the notes that I've posted. So, gehen wir zu den Notizen, die gepostet worden sind. Das ist Teil 3. Okay. And the first head and the second advent. Die erste Untersch äh, Überschrift, das zweite Ankunft. Okay, Matthew 24, Vers 3. Matthäus 24, Vers 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So we know. At the end here, when he left the temple for the last time, went to the Mount of Olives, he then told them what was coming, was going to repeat, right? Wir wissen, dass wenn Christus den Tempel verließ und ging zum Ölberg und dann sagte, was noch kommen wird, das noch was, also das wird sich, das was geschehen ist, wird sich wiederholen. And they're asking for him about the second coming and, and the dist and the destruction of Jerusalem, which is the end of the world to them, right? Sie bitten über sein zweites Kommen und die Zerstörung Jerusalems, was für sie das Ende der Welt sei. Okay, so, um, and these were this two crises that we, we looked at, right? Das waren diese zwei Krisen, die wir angeschaut haben. Okay, the next quote. Nächster Zitat. It says, in the days of the early Christians, Christ came the second time. Okay, so here is this second coming, right? So here is this zweite Kommen. It says his first advent was at Bethlehem when he came as an infant. His second advent was at the Isle of Patmos when he revealed himself in glory to John the Revelator who fell at his feet as dead when he saw him, right? So when, where was his second advent? So wo war sein zweiter Ankunft? So the, the revelation, right? By the Offenbarung. So it's telling us here, right, that the second advent begins here. Right? It sagt uns, dass das zweite Ankunft fängt hier an. Because it's this one angel, right? It's this ein Engel. It's this angel, a Revelation 10, and he comes down right here. It's right? this Engel von Offenbarung 10, and er kommt hier herab. Yes? Amen. Okay. It says... Um, but Christ strengthened him to endure the sight and then gave him a message to write to the churches. So first of all, the second advent represents the revelation. So zuerst das zweite Ankunft stellt die Offenbarung dar. The outpouring of the latter rain is where he strengthens him. Das Ausgießung des Heiligen Geistes ist da, wo er gestärkt wird. And now he gives him a message because he's going to send him here. Und right? jetzt gibt er ihm eine Botschaft, denn er wird ihn hier senden. Okay. Um, Christ strengthened to Judas, I then gave him a message to write to the churches of Asia, the names of which are descriptive of the characteristics of every church. It's one church, it's just represent the different, or not phases, but different aspects of the church. So it's just eine Gemeinde, die sieben verschiedene Sachen und stellen die verschiedenen Aspekten der Gemeinde dar. The light that Christ revealed to his servant, the prophet, is for us. In his revelation are given the three angels' messages and a description 
of the angel that was to come down from heaven with great power, lightening the earth with his glory. So that's what John saw coming down, the angel of Revelation 10, right? Das ist, was Johannes sah, was von Himmel, Himmel herabkam, also die Engel von Offenbarung 10. Sister White says it's none other than a personage of Jesus Christ. And White sagt, es ist kein geringerer als Christus selber. So the angel of Revelation 10 coming down, which is the revelation, is the second coming, right? So, der Engel von Offenbarung 10, der herunterkommt, was der Offenbarung ist, ist ähm, sein zweites Kommen. How does Christ come? Wie kommt Christus? It's the former and latter rain, right? Früh und den Spätregen. So a second advent begins here, right? Seine zweite Ankunft fängt folglich hier an. So they're asking him, which is going to be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Und sie bitten ihm, was wird das Zeichen deines Kommens und das Ende der Welt? So where does the sign begin? So wo fängt das Zeichen an? Right here. Gerade hier, right? Amen. Okay. Next paragraph. Next paragraph. The light that Christ revealed to his servant the prophet is for us. In his revelation of... Okay, so, uh, next... Sorry, go over that. We've just read that next sentence. So, next me. Satz, das hatten wir bereits. In it are warnings against the wickedness that would exist in the last days and against the mark of the beast. Because it says, Come out of her, my people, that you receive not of her plagues. So, right? Kommt aus ihr heraus, so dass ihr von euren Plagen nichts uh, erhalten wird. We are not only to read and understand this message, but to proclaim it with no uncertain sound to the world. By presenting these things revealed to John, we shall be able to stir the people. So unless you've had this revelation, what will you not be able to do? So, es sei denn, dass du diese Offenbarung erhalten hast, was, was wirst du nicht imstande sein zu tun? Give the warning. No warning. It says you won't be able to stir the people. Du wirst nicht imstande sein, das Volk ähm, aufzuwecken. Okay, because that's what you're to do. You're to if you preach these things, it will stir the people, right? Das solltest du tun, wenn du diese Sachen predigen, dann wird es die Leute aufwühlen. The usual subjects on which the ministers of nearly all other denominations dwell will not move them. We must proclaim our God-given message to them. The world is to be warned by the proclamation of this message. We just read it's the midnight cry, right? It's blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, right? Wir haben gelesen, es ist der Mitternachtsruf. Gesegnet sei der, der im Namen des Herrn kommt. Okay, if we blanket it, if we hide our light under a bushel, if we so circumscribe ourselves that we cannot reach the people, we are answerable to God for our failure to warn the world, right? Okay, next quote. Next Zitat. But God's servants are not to trust to themselves in this great emergency. In the visions given to Isaiah, to Ezekiel, and to John, right? So Ezekiel and Isaiah and John, they all represent the same thing, though they be at two different places prophetically. Right? Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Johannes stellen dasselbe Sache da, obwohl sie prophetisch an verschiedenen Orten sind. Okay, we see how closely heaven is connected with the events taking place upon the earth, and how great is the care of God for those who are loyal to him. The world is not without a ruler. The program of coming events is in the hand of the Lord. The majesty of heaven has the destiny of nations as well as the concerns of his church and his own church. Next quote. When God was about to send Isaiah with a message to his people, he first permitted the prophet to look in vision into the Holy of Holies within the sanctuary. Suddenly, the gate and the inner veil of the temple seemed to be uplifted or withdrawn. That's right here, right? Yes, it's gerade here, wo der Schleier um, entfernt wird. And he was permitted to gaze within upon the Holy of Holies, where even the prophet's feet might not enter. So he's not allowed to enter into that temple here, right? Ihm ist hier nicht erlaubt, in den Tempel einzugehen. Because he must be purged and purified before he can be this perfect offering. Right? Er muss äh, geläutert und gereinigt werden äh, zuerst, bevor er diesen perfekten Opfer sein kann. Okay. Um, there rose before him a vision of Jehovah sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, while the train of his glory filled the temple. So this is the second advent, right? Das ist das zweite Ankunft. The beginning of it. Das Anbeginn dessen. Right. 
Around the throne were seraphim as guards about the great king, and they reflected the glory that surrounded them. As their songs of praise resounded in deep notes of adoration, the pillars of the gate trembled, as if shaken by an earthquake. With lips unpolluted by sin, these angels poured forth the praise of God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. They cried, the whole earth is full of his glory. Go to Malachi chapter 3. It's Malachi, try it. Verse 1, Science. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom he seeks shall suddenly come to his temple. Right? This is the gate, the, the veil being lifted suddenly. Right? Plötzlich zu seinem Tempel ankommen, das ist wo plötzlich diesen Vorhang entfernt wird. Even the messenger of the covenant, whom he delighted, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his what? Wer wird okay, so what is it? Ankunft äh, bestehen kann. Also was ist es? It's the second advent, right? When he came and came and revealed himself to John, right? It says, "And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap." So now go to Revelation 10. It's Offenbarung 10. It says, "And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud." What's the sign of his coming? So, was ist das Zeichen seines Ankunfts? When he comes on a cloud, Wenn right? Er in den Wolken kommt. And a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. So, it's the principle. This is what Isaiah saw above the throne. He saw the rainbow, right? Das ist ein Prinzip, das was Jesaja über den Thron sah in Vision, diesen Regenbogen. Okay. Go to Ezekiel. Yes, one, because we've read Ezekiel, John, and Isaiah represents the same illustrations, right? So, Ezekiel 1, then we have gelesen, Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Johannes, is the same Darstellung. Verse 28. Verse 28. As the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain. Which day is it? Welche Tag ist es? Rain. Tag des Regens. It's the second advent. It's the zweite Ankunft. And how is he coming to us? And wie kommt er zu uns? Is a former and a latter rain, right? Früh und spät regen. And what's above the cloud? Und was steht über den Wolken? The rainbow. Das rainbow. Right? So was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. This is what happened to John when he saw the revelation, right? Das ist was Johannes geschah, als er die Offenbarung sah. We read when the second advent. When, when Christ came to John, he revealed himself as the angel that lightened the earth with his glory, right? Wir haben gelesen bei der zweiten Ankunft, dass der Engel zu Johannes kam, er stellte der Engel da, der die Erde mit seiner Herrlichkeit leuchtete. Okay, so, here, Revelation 10, 1. So, Offenbarung 10, Vers 1 hier. Okay. Because the rainbow's there, right? Und da ist das Regenbogen. And the rain is falling. Und das Regen fällt. And there's where the former and the latter rain pours out, und right? Das ist hier, wo das Früh- und das Spätregen ausgießen. Okay. So now go to the next quote, which is just one line. Gehen wir zu diesem nächsten einlinigen Zitat. It says, The bow of promise is above the throne, and the work done for Isaiah will be performed in them. Right? So his sins were blotted out. Seine Sünden sind ausgetilgt worden. Why? Warum wohl? Because the bow of promise was there in the day of rain. Weil das Bogen der Verheißung da war im Tag des Regens. Right, so we can mark this, this rainbow, right? Wir können diesen Regenbogen hier markieren. Right, this cloud, right? Diese Wolke. This rain, right? Regen eben. Yes? Amen. That's what Ezekiel saw. That's what John saw. Right? Das ist was That's what Isaiah saw. That's what Johannes saw. That's what Jesaja saw. Okay. So, next quote. Next Zitat. The angel who unites in the proclamation of the third angel's message is to lighten the whole earth with his glory. A work of worldwide extent and unwanted power is here foretold. The Advent movement of 1840 to 44 was a glorious manifestation of the power of God. 
This is speaking about the angel of Revelation 10. Right? Über den Engel von Offenbarung 10. The first angel's message was carried to every missionary station in the world, and in some countries there was the greatest religious interest which has been witnessed in any land since the Reformation of the 16th century. But these are to be far exceeded by the mighty movement under the last warning of the third angel, right? The work will be similar to that of the day of Pentecost, as the former reign was given in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at the opening of the gospel to cause the upspringing of the precious seeds, so the latter reign will be given at its close for the ripening of the harvest. Latter reign. Right? At its close, right here, by sein Schloss here, where it's going to be ripened, right, so that the sickle can go in. Right? Es werden wird, so dass der Sichel eingeworfen werden kann. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord is going forth as prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. That's where he's coming, right there. That's why he here called, right? In the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. When? Wann werden sie gerettet? When are you to call upon the name of the Lord that you might be saved? Wann solltest du den Namen des Herrn rufen, damit du gerettet werden kannst? Yes, but in, uh, it's true. In all the illustrations... We see it's when he's passing by, right? Yeah. Alle Darstellungen können wir sehen, es ist, wenn er an sie vorüberzieht. Okay, we've looked at this, right then, but the Ezekiel 34, he comes down, it's when he's passing by. Right? Ezekiel 34, wenn er herabkommt, ist, wenn er an sie vorüberzieht. Okay. Um, the great work. Yes. The great work of the gospel is not to close with less manifestation of the power of God than marked its opening. The prophecies which were fulfilled in the opening of the former reign at the opening of the gospel are again to be fulfilled in the latter reign at its close. Here are the times of refreshing to which the Apostle Peter looked forward when he said, Repent ye therefore, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out in the investigative judgment. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus. So who comes here? So where comes here? Jesus. Jesus. Savior. The Retter. And how is he going to save us? Und wie wird er uns retten? He's going to bring the former and latter rain, and if you repent and be converted, he'll blot out your sins. Er wird right? früh und spät ringen bringen, und wenn du Buße tust und dich bekehren lässt, dann wird er deine Sünden austilgen. Right? It's the first part of the second advent, right? Das ist das erst, erste Teil des zweiten Ankunfts. Because when Christ literally comes at the, at the end here, right? Denn wenn Christus buchstäblich am Ende hier kommt, what, what does he... I mean, he, he comes on the cloud and he, he blows this silver trumpet, right? Er kommt auf den Wolken und stoßt in diesen silberner Posaune ein. Okay, but I think just before that, the, the ones that are waiting, they all see him come and, and they all say, Who shall be able to stand, right? Kurz davor, also die, die auf ihm warten, die stehen da und sehen ihn kommend und rufen, wer wird imstande sein, vor ihm zu stehen? That's Malachi chapter 3, right? Das wäre Malachi 3. And he says, my grace is sufficient for you. And then he says, awake, awake, awake. Dann right? sagt er, meine Gnade genüge euch. Und dann sagt er, erwache, erwache, erwache. Okay, so even at the second coming, he illustrates this interceding before he resurrects them at the end, right? Well, Selbst no. bei der, seinen zweiten Ankunft uh, stellt diese Fürbitte Dienst da noch bevor er sie am Ende auferweckt. Okay, next quote. Nächster Zitat. By faith let us look upon the rainbow round about the throne. The cloud of sins confessed behind it. The rainbow of promise is an assurance to every humble, contrite, believing soul. So all those that exercise faith, that have a humble and contrite heart, will be saved, right? So all die, die Glaube ausüben, die eine demütige und uh, reumütiges Herz haben, werden gerettet werden. Right? Amen. This is what it says, a broken and contrite spirit is acceptable in his sight, right? Es sagt es, eine gebrochene und reumütige Geist ist in seiner Sicht um, annehmbar oder akzeptabel. It says, 
The rainbow of promise is an assurance to every humble, contrite, believing soul that his life is one with Christ and that Christ is one with God. The wrath of God will not fall upon one soul that seeks refuge in him. God himself has declared, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The bow shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant. Amen? Amen. Okay. Next heading, the wrath of God. Next to Überschrift, the Zorn Gottes. So remember, Malachi 1 to 4 is the investigative judgment. Gedenke, dass Malachi 1 bis 4 ist der Untersuchungsgericht. And then he says, in verse, verse 5, in verse 5, And I will come near to you to judgment. Right? To Gericht. And I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against the false swearers and against those that oppress the harling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. So let's look at this judgment. Right? So, lasst uns diese Gericht anschauen. Go to John 5 and verse 22 and then verse 27. Johannes 5, Vers 22, dann Vers 27. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. So as soon as he's finished purging and purifying you, he comes to verse 5, he's now going to execute judgment, right? So sobald das er äh, abgeschlossen hat mit dir reinigen und läutern, es kommt hier zu Vers 5, er wird das Gericht ausführen. How did he come into the temple? Wie ist er in das Tempel hineingekommen? Suddenly. Plötzlich. He suddenly came in the temple with this flaming sword, right? Er kam plötzlich in den Tempel hinein mit diesem flammenden Schwert. How long was that sword so, over the temple? Wie lange äh, dauerte oder lauerte diesen Schwert über den Tempel? A year, A year right? Ein Jahr lang. This done to the destruction, right? Das führt zu der Zerstörung hier. Same principle here, right? Das selbe Prinzip hier, right? Yes. Amen. Because the second cleansed the temple, he went in with a flaming sword. Right? Der zweite Tempelreinigung ging er mit einem flammenden Schwert hinein. Okay, it's showing us these things. We've got to bring them together, right? Es zeigt uns diese Sachen. Wir müssen sie nur zusammenbringen. Okay, and go to Jude 1, 14 and 15. Judas 1, 14 and 15. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. So the ten thousand of his saints is the cloud that he comes with, right? So diese zehn tausenden von seinen Heiligen, das ist die Wolke, auf dem er kommt. Okay, so this is this cloud, right? Das ist diese Wolke. As long as the rainbow is there, there's mercy, right? Und solange das, das Regenbogen vorhanden ist, gibt es Gnade. And then he's going to execute judgment. Und danach wird er Gericht ausführen. So the, the cloud just moves from here to here, right? Die Wolke bewegt sich von hier nach dort. Okay. And, uh, go to Matthew 24, verse 29. Matthäus 24, verse 29. It says, immediately, sofort, after the tribulation of those days. Now it says in Revelation, thou shalt have tribulation ten days. Die Offenbarung es sagt, dass ihr Trübsal zehn Tage lang haben werdet. Be thou faithful unto, sei treu. Death is of the tall, and I will give thee a and ich werde euch crown of life, crown of Lebens life. So when he gives you the crown of life, what's over? So when he gives you the crown of life, what's over? So when he gives you the crown of life, what's over? Tribulation, so the trumpsal, right? So it says immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, right? So what happens here? You got the Heavens and earth shake. So, right? Here then geschieht, dass der Himmel und Erde erschüttert. Right. It says, and then it says, dann sagt es, go, go to Joel chapter 2, in Joel 2, Vers 10. Vers 10. The earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shine. This is the shaking of the Heavens and the earth, right? Die Erschütterung vom Himmel und Erde. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word. 
for the day of the Lord is very terrible and who can abide it? Right? But when you come here, he's come to execute his word, but he fulfills it at the end. Right? So, uh, here comes, er kommt, um sein Wort zu erfüllen. Er erfüllt es aber am Ende. So, probation closes, final review, executes judgment. Right? So, der Gnadentür zugeht, der finale Untersuchung führt Gericht aus. Okay. Heavens and earth shake. Himmel and Erde erschüttern. Just like parallel, there's a shaking of the heavens and earth there. At the beginning of when Christ went into the grave. So it's a same parallel here, an Erschütterung von Himmel and Erde here, wo Christus in den Grab hineinging. How long many days was he in the grave? Wie lange war er im Grabe? Three days, three right? Tage. There was a shaking of the heavens and earth when he came out of the grave, right? It was an Erschütterung from Himmel and Erde as aus dem Grabe herauskam. Right. And it's, no, actually, it says there was an earthquake. It's like this is right. Erdbeben war am Anbeginn und Ende. But that same. earthquake is marking this same uh, point. Right? Aber diese Erdbeben, das markiert nämlich derselben Punkt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. And because we, we will see, if you go now to... Uh, Matthew 24, verse 30, right? It's Matthäus 24, verse 30, yeah. Because we read, verse 29 says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, and we have so far gelesen, it's in verse 29, it says, sofort nach den Trübsal diese Tage, shall the heavens and the earth shake, right? Himmel und Erde erschüttert werden. And then verse 30, it says, 30 sagt, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. This is what they asked for, right? So here now have the young man gefragt. What did they ask for? Wonach haben sie gebeten? What's the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Das ist das Zeichen deines Kommens und der Ende der Welt. But we've read the second advent begins here. Aber wir haben gelesen, der zweite Ankunft fängt hier an. Right? This is where John saw the sign that Christ told them that he was to wait for. Right? So hier hat Johannes äh, den Zeichen gesehen, worauf Christus sie gebeten hat, dass sie warten sollen. Christ comes Suddenly to the temple on the cloud. Christus kommt plötzlich zum Tempel auf der Wolke rein. Soon as he's been, immediately he's finished that, that cloud moves to here. Sobald das er damit abgeschlossen ist, geht diese Wolke hier rüber. Because it says, then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why are they mourning? So warum betrauern uh, die Erdwohner? Because probation is closed. Weil der Gnadentür right? zu ist. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Right? Okay. So go to Daniel 7. Get yet to Daniel 7. Now Daniel 7 um, is specifically speaking about um, this event here, right? So Daniel 7 uh, spricht spezifisch über dieses Ereignis hier. Okay. But the principles are exactly the same then, right? Well, the principles here are the same as here. So if we go to Daniel 7, verse 13. So Daniel 7, verse 13. It says, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. This would be Ezekiel, right? So das wäre dann gleich Hesekiel sein. He saw Christ coming on the clouds, er right? Sah Christus auf den Wolken kommen sehen. And what did it lead him to do? Und zu was hat das geführt, dass er tat? Wir haben in der Dust, right? Im Staub gedemütigt wurde. So he, he sees him coming on the clouds, right? Here we read, this is the vision that John... Isaiah and Ezekiel saw, right? Er sieht ihm hier auf den Wolken kommen sehen. Wir haben gelesen, dies ist der Vision, die Hesekiel, Jesaja und Johannes sah. And John is the revelation of? Und Johannes ist der Offenbarung von? Daniel, Daniel right? Daniel. So, go back to Daniel 7, verse 13. Hier ist Daniel 7, 13 nochmal. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom. And that's right here, right? That's right here. So he sees him coming, and then this event takes place. Er right? sieht ihm kommen, und dann findet diese Ereignis statt. It says, A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was said, and the books were opened. Right? Verse 10, Okay, 13 so, to yeah. 10. sorry, go, 
your current verse 14. So we have okay. verse 10 even gelesen. We want just verse 14. Okay, so that's a good point. That it says, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom. Right, right here. So gerade hier ist ihm diese Sachen gegeben. What was given to him? Was ist ihm gegeben worden? What's dominion? Was ist Herrschaft? The king. Rulership. So this is Regentschaft or Herrschaft. Okay, so he's now ruling. He says, giving him dominion and glory. So Herrschaft and er also Herrlichkeit or Ehre. It's, it's, yeah, it's the kingdom of glory. This right? is the Königreich der Herrlichkeit jetzt. Okay. Lawrence will cover this in greater detail, right? Bruder Lorenz wird im größeren Detail hierauf. That all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Now go to Daniel 7. Yes, can we Verse 9. Daniel 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. That's so he sees him coming. Yeah, sieht ihm kommen. So he beholds him coming on the clouds yes. until the thrones are cast down. Yeah, right? sieht, wie er auf den Wolken kommt, bis die Throne aufgestellt werden. And, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. We read, this is Christ coming to execute judgment. Right? Wir haben gelesen, das ist Christus, der kommt, um Gericht auszuführen. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was said and the books were opened. Right? Ten thousand angels. Ten thousand angels. It's coming to execute judgment. Right? Kommt um Gericht auszuführen. Go to Revelation 10 and verse 2. So, 10, verse 2. So we've, we've marked that Revelation 10, 1 is here. So we have already marked that Revelation 10, verse 1 is here. But now it says, and he had in his hand a little book open, right? Mm -hmm. This is the judgment is said, the books are open, so right? This is here, verse 2, the Gericht is aufgestellt, the books are geöffnet. This is the revelation given to John, right? This is the Offenbarung, die Johannes gegeben wird. The revelation given to John was about the angel of Revelation 10, coming down to lighten the earth with his... Glory, right? Die Offenbarung, die Johannes gegeben worden ist, ist die Engel von Offenbarung 10, der herabkommt, um die Erde mit seiner Herrlichkeit zu erleuchten. Okay, next quote. Nächster Zitat. God's people are to warn the world to prepare for the second appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is coming with power and great glory. So the, the warning was, was warning about what? Die Warnung warnt worüber? What did Christ warn them about? So, von was hat Christus seine Jungen gewarnt? The second advent. Das zweite Ankunft. The second advent begins here. Das right? zweite Ankunft fängt hier an. He comes, the fall of the rain. Er kommt wie das frühe Spätregen. Suddenly. Plötzlich. And then immediately he suddenly comes to his temple and he's now going to execute judgment. Right? Und sofort kommt er plötzlich zu seinem Tempel und wird Gericht ausführen. And it says, we read in. Um, Matthew 24, 30, it says, Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with what? With power and great glory. Right? We read in Daniel 7 and verse 14 that he's given power Dominion and glory. Right? Daniel 7, verse 14. We have gelesen, that er Herrschaft, Kraft and große Herrlichkeit gegeben wird. Okay, she quotes this very thing here, right? Und hier in diesem Zitat zitiert sie gerade das. God's people are to warn the world to prepare for the second appearing of our Lord, the Savior and Jesus Christ, who is coming with power and great glory. So when he comes with power and great glory, it's his second advent. Right? When comes with Kraft and große Herrlichkeit, das markiert sein zweite Ankunft. When the cry of peace and safety has been sounded from every part of the Christian world and the sleeping church and the world, world will be, be asking in scorn, where is the promise of his coming? All things continue as they were from the beginning. So when they're saying that, all of a sudden, he's going to come in power and great glory. So right? When sie diese Sachen sagen, plötzlich wird er kommen in Kraft und große Herrlichkeit. Continues. Sagt weiter. Christ was taken up to heaven in a cloud composed of living angels. When? So, wann ist er in den Himmel hinaufgebracht worden? When was he taken up to the? So, 
So van is hen aufgenommen worden. No, just come on. Follow the prevent narrative. It's a different story now. When we think of that story, when was he taken up in the cloud? So van is in the wolken hen aufgenommen worden. After 40 days, right? 40 Tagen. Okay. So wh why is that important? Warum ist das wichtig? What did we look at this morning? Das haben wir heute Morgen bereits angeschaut. Who came to Christ on the 40th day? Wer kam zu Christus an am 40. Tag? And how did he come? Der Versucher, wie kam er? Yeah, he came as an angel of light here, right? Kam as an angel des he came ja. counterfeiting this angel, right? Uh, kam, um, diese Engel fälschend. Okay. He comes as an angel of light and he tempts three times, right? He comes as an angel of light and he tempts three times. But all those that resist his temptations here get sealed. But right? all those that resist his temptations here get sealed. Right? By this sealing angel, Durch right? This sealing angel. Right? Amen. Okay, so she likens Matthew 24, verse 30, with the point where Christ was taken up to heaven in a cloud. So she verbindet Matthäus 24, verse 30, to the point where Christus um, in den Himmel für auf eine Wolke. Right? So he was taken up here, right? Er ist hier hinauf gefahren. Right? So Christ was taken up into heaven in a cloud composing of living angels. The angels, so what's the cloud? So what is the wolke? 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands and thousands of angels, right? 10,000 mal 10,000 and thousands of thousands of angels. And he said, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into the heaven. So when he goes up, what's it marking? So when he goes up, what's marked is? His return. Sein Wiederkehr. Right? This is the great event to be contemplated and talked of, the declaration of the angels that he should come in the same manner as he went up into heaven. And it's marked by the shaking of the heavens and the earth. Das ist markiert durch die Erschütterung vom Himmel und Erde. Matthew, 20, Matthew 24, verse 29 and 30. Matthäus right? 24, verse 29 and 30. Immediately. Sofort. Right? Now, just go now. To Matthew 13, verse 39. Gehen wir jetzt zu Matthäus 13, Vers 39. Because it also tells us when the end of the world is, right? Es sagt uns auch, wann das Ende der Welt ist. This is the question they asked in Matthew 24, right? Das ist die Frage, die sie in Matthäus 24 gestellt haben. It says, the enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. So where's the end of the world? So wo ist das Ende der Welt? The harvest, das right? Der Ernte. So we, we know the second advent begins here with the suddenly coming to his temple and then the second advent he suddenly comes into his temple and he's going to put in the sickle, right? So we know that the second ankunft here begins when he plötzlich to his temple ankommt. And we know here that when he plötzlich to his temple ankommt, he will put the sickle in. Because in, in Mark 4, verse 28, in Mark 4, verse 28, it says, for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, and after that the full corn in the ear. How many things? So, wie viele Sachen hier? Three. Right? Drei. Same as how many times Christ was tempted, right? Selbe wie oft Christus versucht würde. But when the fruit is brought forth, and what causes the fruit to be brought forth? Was sagt, dass Frucht hervorkommt? The latter rain, right? The spät when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle because the harvest is come. It's the sign at the end of the world. Right? The end is come. It's the sign at the end of the world. Right? Now go back to Matthew 13 and verse 30. It's Matthäus 13, verse 30. He says, let both grow together until the harvest. So how do they grow together until the harvest? Think of something we studied this morning. Wie wachsen sie zusammen bis zur Ernte? Also denke über irgendetwas, was wir heute Morgen studiert haben. What's preparing you for the harvest? Was bereitet dich für die Ernte? What's, what's causing you to grow? Was verursacht, dass du wächst? 
yeah, the, the sealing message. Also das Versiegelungsbuch. The sealing, you have to settle into the truth, intellectually and spiritually, they can be moved when? So, to, um, the Versiegelung is that you uh, intellectually and geistlich in the Botschaft gegründet wird, that you nicht verrückt werden kannst, wann? Yes, but in that quote we read, he comes to separate what? So Zitat, the chaff from the wheat, right? It's the harvest. Kommt, um den Spreu von den Weizen zu trennen. Also es ist der Ernte. Right? It's when the shaking is going to take place, right? When the Sichtung stattfindet. So it says, let both grow together by the sealing message until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn, and that takes place in here, right? So that's when it's in here, stand. Amen. Amen. It's the temple cleansing, it's the temple reinigung, which represents the executive judgment. Was das ausführende Gericht darstellt. Okay. Go now. The next head. So the next Überschrift. Blowing the trumpet. So the posaune stoß. Represent the investigative judgment. The Untersuchungsgericht da. Revelation 1 and verse 10. Offenbarung 1, verse 10. Because this is what John saw, right? This is what John saw. And what John saw was represented by the angel of Revelation 10. Das, was Johannes sah, war dargestellt durch den Engel von Offenbarung 10. Was none other a personage than Jesus Christ. Kein right? geringerer als Christus Jesus. Came to John at the second advent, right? Er kam zu Johannes an der zweite Ankunft. This is what he saw, right? Das ist es, was er sah. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Verse 12. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the parts with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet unto like fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He has suddenly come to his temple, right? It's plötzlich to sein temple angekommen. Right? He's this light of the world. He's blowing this trumpet. Okay. Verse 17. Verse 17. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying to me, Fear not, I am the first and I am the last. Right? This is where he suddenly comes to his temple and he purged and purified John. Right? Is where he plötzlich to his temple and came and cleansed and reinigte Johannes. He came as a message of light. That's what the candlestick is, right? He came as a Botschaft des Lichtes. That is what the Leuchter da steht. And remember, the candlestick is filled with this. It's the it's the light of the world. It's the message, right? Ich denke, der Leuchter, das ist der Licht der Welt, ist die Botschaft. Represents his people giving the message. Stellt sein Volk da, wie sie die Botschaft geben. Okay, now go to Matthew 24, verse 31. It's Matthäus 24, verse 31. So, we have Matthew 24, verse 29 and 30. Matthew 24, verse 29 and 30. Okay, represent this point, right? It's stellt diesen Punkt hier. Then verse 31. Vers 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. When are you sent? Wann wirst du gesandt? Not only that, after you've received the message. Also, right? Nachdem du die Botschaft erhalten hast. God it says God's messengers have a message. Gottes right? Botschaftern haben eine Botschaft. Okay, so you can all because it says he sends his angels with a great sound of a Trumpet, right? Sendet seinen Engel mit einem großen Posaunenschaft. What did John see here? Was hat Johannes hier gesehen? We just read what he said. Come on, what we heard. He heard the trumpet, but when he turned, he saw the candlestick with Christ in the midst of it, right? Er hat die Stimme einer Posaune gehört, aber er sich umdrehte. Er sah, er sah Christus inmitten der Leuchter. The candlestick is the church, right? Der Leuchter ist der Gemeinde. It's his people. Sein Volk. And Christ is in the midst of the church, right? Christus ist inmitten der Gemeinde. So, so what is it? Was ist das? It's an illustration of. Eine Darstellung von. Remember when we read Christ cleansing the temple? What was? How did he achieve his aim? So, 
als wir gelesen haben, Christus reinigt der Tempel, wie hat er das erreicht? What, was, what did it say in the quote when he's cleansing the temple? What, what? Sagte es in der Zitat. Through the incarnation. Durch right? die Entfleischwerdung. What's the incarnation? Und was ist der Entfleischwerdung? The combination of the human and the divine, right? Verbindung von göttlichen und menschlichen. So when you receive the latter rain there, you become the same as what you just, from the people you saw, you become, you join the procession, right? So wenn du das Spätregen hier hältst, dann wirst du das, was du gerade gesehen hast. Also du wirst wie diejenigen, die dir die Botschaft gebracht haben. Okay, you become the candlestick, you're... Christ in you, the hope of glory, right? Schließt den Zug an. Du wirst der Leuchter. Du wirst uh, Christus in dir, der Hoffnung der Herrn. You become the light of the world, right? Du wirst zum Licht der Welt. And right here, he's going to send gerade hier wird two disciples, right? Senden, diese zwei Jungen. Yes? Amen. They're going to loose the ass, right? Sie werden das Esel lösen. Okay, you become these two anointed ones, right? Du wirst right? diese zwei Gesalten werden. He says, he shall send you with a great sign of a trumpet, and they shall gather together as a leg from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So what is it here? Was ist das denn hier? When's the judgment? Wann ist das Gericht? At the end, right? Am Ende. So here is the end, right? Hier ist der, das Ende. And here is the end. Und hier auch das Ende. So he's going to send his angels. With the sound of a trumpet, right? Engel mit Posaunschal senden. From one end of heaven to the other end, right? Von einem Ende des Himmels bis zum anderen. Yes. Who is he sending? Und wer sendet er? His angels, sein Engel, right? Okay. Which represent his people. We've already established that. Wir stellen sein Volk da. Das haben wir bereits gezeigt. Okay, now go to Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Gehen wir zu Amos 3, Vers 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? And this is what happens here, right? This is what here geschieht. Okay, because the angel with the rider's ink on, the ceiling, right? Der Engel mit der Schreibwerkzeug versiegelt. And then the destruction of Jerusalem comes, right? Dann kommt die Zerstörung Jerusalems. The evil that comes upon the city. Das ist das Böse, was über der Stadt kommt. Who did it? Wer tat es? It just says, tells us there who did it, right? Es zeigt uns, wer es tat. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? Der Herr hat es getan. He executed judgment, right? Gericht aus. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret to seven the prophets. Where does he do that? In Vers 7, wo tut er das? Right here. Gerade hier. Reveals the secret, gives them the message, and then sends them, right? Offenbart das Geheimnis, gibt ihnen den Botschaft, und dann sendet sie. Okay. Says, the lion hath roared. Who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken, but who can but... Prophesy. So when the, the Lord comes down, the angel of Revelation 10, so when the Herr herunterkommt, der Engel von Offenbarung 10, says it's like a lion roaring. It's wie eine Löwe, der brüllt. Right? It's this message that he's giving. Know who's going to fear, because the Lord has just executed judgment here. Right? Diese Botschaft, die er gegeben hat, wer wird sich nicht fürchten, denn der Herr hat gerade Gericht hier ausgeführt. So what are they going to do? So was werden sie denn tun? They're going to prophesy. Who can but prophesy, right? They're going to prophesy. Who can others as to prophesy? Okay. Now go to 1 Corinthians 13, verse 1. To 1 Corinthians 13, verse 1. Which is the new birth, right? That's new birth is. Okay, and it's explaining how you will look like when you've had the new birth. Right. Erklärt, wie du aussehen wirst, wenn du den Neugeburt erhalten hast. It says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. So if you don't have this new birth, you sound like sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal, right? So, wenn du den Neugeburt nicht hattest, dann hörst du wie diese uh, läutende Glocke oder Trimble, der klangt. Remember, we, we read, unless they, they, unless they preach the revelation, what will it not do? So, 
seit, wir haben gelesen, es sei denn, dass sie die Offenbarung predigen, was wird es nicht tun? It will move them. Es wird sie nicht rühren. You're the, because the, you're sounding brass and tinkling cymbal, right? Ja, du bist dieser gähnende yeah. Klang hier. Okay, right, verse 9. Vers 9. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come. That's the secret, right? That's the revelation. Vers 10, das Perfekte, das ist der, das Geheimnis, die Offenbarung. Eben. Then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I speak as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then, face to face, when you have this revelation, right? Dann von Angesicht zu Angesicht, wenn du diese Offenbarung hast. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Now go to the next chapter. Jetzt gehen wir zum nächsten Kapitel, Kapitel 14. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may what? Prophesy. Wie mehr, dass ihr prophezeien könnt. So in this evil in this city, he says... Who can but prophesy? He sends his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Okay. Verse 7. Verse 7. And even things without life-giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, Who shall prepare himself to the battle? They will not be moved unless you're blowing the trumpet. Right? So unless you've had, you're filled with the love of Christ and have the, received the latter rain. I mean in the sense that the, the message that is to be given, right? In dem Sinne meine ich der Botschaft, der gegeben werden soll. Won't move anybody. Es wird niemand rühren. They will just look at you and go, what's he babbling on about? Die werden right. nur anschauen und denken, wovon quatscht er. Right. Okay, so next quote. Nächster Zitat. Then Jesus' silver trumpet sounded as he descended on the cloud. Wrapped in flames of fire, he gazed on the graves of the sleep, sleeping saints. Then raised his eyes and his hands to heaven and cried, Awake, 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 ye that sleep in the dust and arise. Then there was a mighty earthquake. The graves opened and the dead came up clothed with immortality. The 144,000 shouted, Alleluia. As they recognized their friends who had been torn from them by death. And in the same moment we were changed and caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So this is Christ descending on the cloud. This is what he says. Where, where he ascended is where he's going to descend. Das right? ist Christus, der herunterkommt auf der Wolke. Das sagte zuvor, wo oder wie er heraufgeführt ist, so wird er auch wieder herunterkommen. She paralleled it with Matthew 24, 29 and 30. Sie hat das parallel mit Matthäus 24, Vers 29 und 30 gestellt. Okay, so that, that would be perfectly here, right? Das wäre perfekterweise hier. Okay. So, go to 1 Corinthians 15, 1. Korinther 15, verse 51. 51. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. A what? Ein was? What's the mystery? Ein Geheimnis. Was ist der Geheimnis? The secret. The, secret. Das Geheimnis. the, the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret, secret to his servants, the prophets. Right? Nichts tun, es sei denn sein Geheimnis, seine Propheten offenbaren. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. So what I want you to see, and he saw him here. Why did John turn round? So when he ihn gesehen hat, warum hat Johannes sich umgedreht? Because he had a trumpet, right? And a posaune shall er gehört hat. So there's a trump here, right? Es gibt eine posaune. Uh, here. And when he comes here, when he here comes, this is the last trump. This is das letzte Posaunenschall. Yes? Amen. It says, At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we sh shall be changed. 
For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, but the strength of sin is the law. Be thanks, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So right here, when he blows that last trumpet, the victory call, right? So gerade wenn er hier in diesen letzten Posaunenschal ergibt, ist es der Siegesruf. And all he does at these two places is now separate the two classes. Alles was er tut an diesen zwei Stellen, wenn alle untersuchen, was er trennt die zwei Klassen. Okay, so right on time. We just read the, the last verse. Go to Matthew 25, verse 31. Wir wenden uns an Bibeln zu Matthäus 25, Vers 31. And I want you to see this is a parallel to Matthew 24, verse 30. Ich möchte, dass wir sehen, dass dies eine Parallel ist zu Matthäus 24, Vers 30. Because Matthew 24, verse 30, as we've seen is here, right? Matthäus 24, Vers 30, haben wir gesehen, ist hier. So let's read, uh, fact, let's just begin in verse 30. So wir fangen hier in Vers 30 an. It says, and then shall appear the sign, no, sorry, I'm wrong, um, verse 31, excuse me, Vers 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, how does he come? Wie kommt er? In his glory. In seine Herrlichkeit. And all the holy angels with him. Who comes with him? Wer kommt mit ihm? 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. 10,000 mal 10,000 und tausende von tausenden. Shall he sit upon the throne of his glory? And that's what we read, Daniel 7, verse 3. 14, right? In 7, Vers 14 haben wir das gelesen, dass auf sein Thron sitzt. Okay. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. There's the shaking, right? 32, da ist der, der Sichtung. That's the harvest. Der Ernte eben. Right? He puts in the sickle, right? Wo er den Sichel einwirft. Okay. So, um, much more to say on this. Right, viel mehr, was man darüber sagen konnte. Hopefully we can bring some nice thoughts together in the last presentation. Hoffentlich in meinem letzten Vortrag können wir einige schöne Gedanken zusammenbringen. Okay. Should we close with a word of prayer? Dann lass uns mit Gebet Schluss machen. Dear Heavenly Father, lieber himmlischer Vater, Lord, we thank you for these great illustrations. Wir danken dir für diese große Darstellung. We thank you for the principles that you've given us that enable us to rightly divide your word. Wir danken dir für die Prinzipien, die du uns gegeben hast, die uns befähigen, dein Wort auf rechte Weise zu zerteilen. We can uh, see uh, and understand how to bring these things together line upon line dass wir sehen und verstehen können, wie wir diese Sachen Linie auf Linie zusammenbringen können. How they can reveal the seven thunders to us. Wie sie die sieben Donnern uns offenbaren können. This, this um, delineation of events leading down to the close of this earth's history. Eine Anreihung von Ereignissen, die führen bis zum Schluss dieser Erdgeschichte. Help us, Lord, to uh, realize our need to study and understand these things. Hilft uns, Herr, dass wir unsere Not erkennen unsere Bedürfnis, diese Sachen zu verstehen, zu studieren. You've told us that we must tax every nerve and fiber to understand them. Du hast uns gesagt, dass wir jeder Nerv und jeder Strähne anstrengen müssen, um sie zu verstehen. But help us to remember that your grace is sufficient for us. Aber hilft uns daran zu erinnern, dass deine Gnade für uns genüge. And that if we seek you, we shall find you when we search for you with all our heart. Dass wenn wir dich suchen, dann werden wir dich finden, wenn wir dich mit ganzem Herzen suchen. And we Thank you and ask and pray this in the name of Jesus. And we are bitten and danken and beten this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.